Welcome back. This video is on the Zero Shoes DIY Feel True, I think it's called Feel True Sandal Kit, or is it True Feel? One of the two, but it's on their sandal kit. This video is a part of a series of videos that are on minimalist footwear and going barefoot for backpacking and hiking. So in the description, I will leave links to the other videos. If you go back to the home page of the channel, they'll be on either side of this one right here. Now, this little shoe right here, let me tell you why I think it's most valuable. Uh, I think it's most valuable for people who are, were exactly like me, people who are not naturally sandal wearers, people who are kind of like a little put off by going barefoot in the woods, and you needed to just try something, and if it didn't work, you weren't gonna feel guilty about spending the money. So when I started making the transition, uh, I quickly realized looking at the research that I was really going to benefit myself and hopefully get rid of my knee pain if I was going to be able to go barefoot or at least very minimalist sandals. And when I started shopping for sandals, it's kind of surprising and you'll see a lot of people make comments about it. You can pay a lot of money for a piece of rubber and some straps and you know anywhere from $60 to over $100. And back when I was making this transition, there weren't as many companies making them as there are today. So today, there are, you have a lot of choices as you look for sandals that you can go backpacking and hiking with. And one of the companies that I came across was Zero Shoes. And they offered this DIY kit. And as a matter of fact, this is how Zero Shoes started. Um, they just started with a very simple DIY kit like this and then progressed to, be make, to, making, to make other shoes. And this kit right here was $25. Comes with a sheet of rubber, a hole punch, and then the string. And I thought to myself, even if I hate it, even if it doesn't work and it's stupid, worst is I'm out 25 bucks. You know, it's better than being out 25 bucks than being out 80 bucks on one of the other fancier uh, sandals. And so I took a chance and I bought one. And it comes with a big sheet of rubber. You have to trace your foot. You have to cut it out yourself. I will say, and I know a lot of people today don't have a toolbox at home. You know, you don't even necessarily have a good pair of scissors at your house. You do need something high quality to cut this. I'm not sure if you can use a knife or a razor blade, how that would work out. I'm sure you could if you took it slow and took it careful. I think I might have actually cut it with uh, tin snips. Um, and so you have to cut it to the shape of your foot. You have to be able to, excuse me, you have to be able to punch the holes and figure out where your toes go. And none of that is a challenge. That's pretty simple. The strap that they give you is just a simple string. There is not much to it whatsoever. Uh, and you can go crazy with choosing how to tie these things. If you look online, there are people that go nuts with all sorts of custom strapping and putting trinkets and stuff on the, the straps. I, of course, just chose the simplest one, which is just a little loop for your heel. It goes between my toe and over my forefoot. It has a slider knot that goes up and down to keep it tight, done. So what did I think when I first bought them? I was blown away. I was absolutely amazed and loved them pretty much instantly. Now, first off, let's just say, if you are going to make a transition to sandals straight from your shoes, you know, those nice supportive shoes that you bought, you have to remember, as I mentioned in the first video in the series, those shoes have been killing your feet. They've been making your feet stupid. They've been weakening your Achilles and your calf and, your, and everything else. So if all of a sudden you make the jump to these, you're gonna be in a whole world of pain and you're gonna say, ah, oh, sandals are awful. So you do take it slow. Don't go out hiking or backpacking for a whole day or weekend in these right away. So just go out for a short walk in them. If you don't know how to walk, because all you've ever done is worn shoes with a heel that make you go heel to toe, heel to toe, do some research on how do you actually walk again? Because your stride will be so unnatural. And if you go straight from a shoe to these sandals, you're probably still gonna go heel toe, heel toe. And at the end of the day, world of pain, your heels are gonna kill you and you're gonna blame the sandal. So figure out how to go barefoot again. And again, if I can give you one piece of advice and we'll move off of this, is take your shoes off and go run barefoot on your driveway, your sidewalk, whatever, not your plush lawn. You're gonna notice how you're running. It's very different. You're not gonna go heel, toe, heel, toe. And then keep that in your head, put on the sandals and walk in the same way. 
not exactly like that, but I think that's the, to do this explanation quick, that's a good thing to do. So go run barefoot, notice that you're not on your heels, on you're on your forefoot, then put your sandals on, and then start walking in them. And uh, you'll be less likely to go crashing on your heels. Um, when I first started wearing them, one of the things that I absolutely loved about it was just the, that sense of freedom. Um, being able to feel the breeze, being able to walk right through a river, um, also being able to feel everything underneath my foot. That was really strange because you know, you're know you used to this nice absorbent sneaker or boot or whatever you have on. You're not used to feeling everything underneath your foot. So for me, that was an, one of the best things is feeling stuff. When I was going up on rocks, I can conform to the rock. It was absolutely amazing. I wasn't just like walking on planks up on top of rocks. Do you have to be more careful? Yes, you do. Do you have to be more careful? Yes, you do. Did I say that twice on purpose? Yes, I did. Because the first time you wear these, if you treat your feet in your hike like you're wearing big, big protective boots or your big supportive shoes, you're gonna stub your toes, you're gonna crush your ankle, you're gonna step on things that are gonna hurt. So unlike big cushy sneakers or boots where you can go across a field of rocks and just step wherever you want to because it just never gets to your foot. These, you do actually learn how to walk again. And the best I can say, think of is it's almost like rock climbing. If you've rock climbed before, I think when you hike, you look at the rocks differently when you're hiking across them. You're looking for places where your foot naturally goes rather than just like straight across where you're like doing these little balancing acts. And so you do have to walk a little bit differently. But again, after a short time, it just becomes second nature and it just simply makes more sense to do it that way. Um, the strap I never found annoying. Uh, I know it's just a little strap. I've never worn these backpacking. Um, I've worn other sandals backpacking, but I've never worn this particular pair. So I don't know how I would do if I had to wear this for you know tens of miles. Um, I would take a guess that if I had just worked up slowly, it wouldn't be much of an issue. Um, but this particular pair I have not worn backpacking. I've done some hiking, I've done hiking, I've done some trail running in these, and just general walking around, and they're awesome. Again, I like them so much that I went on to buy another pair of sandals from Zero and another pair of sandals from another, country, another company. So they are the Zero's DIY sandal kit. Uh, it doesn't look much, right? For hiking, um, again, I've never worn these backpacking, so I will not recommend these for backpacking. Um, but it doesn't look like much, uh, but they are awesome, and I think they are <clears throat> they they are a good gateway sandal for people who are moving towards going barefoot, or for people who just want to try a sandal before they spend the big bucks on something else. Thanks.